MRCEM OSCE course. Preparatory for the Royal College of Emergency Medicine. UK OSCE exam. Website www.mrcemoscecourse.com. Facebook page MRCEM OSCE course. Uh, hello, uh, my name is Dr. Hassan Abdurrahman, one of the MRCEM MOSCE course instructor. Today we're going to talk about the uh, history station. So it will be a continuation of the previous broadcast uh, which we conducted in our website. Uh, this uh, episode particularly we're going to address the station of constipation. Uh, this station came before the previous MRC Mosque exam. So we're going to address this station in more depth and in more details. So it will be written in your task outside that patient came to the emergency department complaining of difficulty in passing a stool. Please take history from the patient and give management plan. Here it is worth to take a look uh, to the pie chart uh, beside the uh, station, beside the task. Uh, so this is, will give you a clue regarding the breakdown and the components of the station itself. Uh, then after that, as we mentioned before in all the history stations, it is worth to think about the differential diagnosis and causes of the main or the chief complaint of the patient. Uh, in such situation, it is constipation. So we have to think about the differential diagnosis and causes of simple constipation. So here, let's just uh, have a small revision regarding the causes of the constipation. It might be a just simple episode of constipation which led the patient to come to the emergency department for workup. Or the constipation itself, it might be underlying cause of uh, serious pathology. So let's uh, talk about the causes of the, uh, uh, the, the constipation. It might be intestinal obstruction. What is the cause of intestinal obstruction and what's the type? We have a small bowel obstruction and we have large bowel obstruction, plus we have a functional intestinal obstruction. So the causes of the small bowel obstruction, it might be Crohn's disease, it might be hernia, adhesion, intussusception, uh, foreign body, uh, tumors, or golostonidias. And the causes of the large bowel obstruction might be uh, hernias, adhesion, uh, volvulus, uh, IBD, inflammatory bowel disease, diverticulitis, and tumor as well. And the causes of the functional intestinal obstruction might be electrolyte disturbances, just like hypokalemia, hyponatremia, or hypomagnesemia, or the patient having some sort of pseudo intestinal obstruction due to medication induced, uh, just like a tricyclic antidepressant overdose. So, like this here, we had the picture of uh, what type of questions or what type of sign and symptoms we are going to ask inside before approaching to the station. So now we have to start our task. So when you are coming inside, as usual, you are going to greet your examiner. Then you are going to approach to your patient immediately. Uh, first thing to be done, you have to introduce yourself and uh, your position in the emergency department. Then the next step will be confirmation of the patient identity by asking the patient name and age as well. So the third step will be reestablishing chief complaint that I have been told that you came to our emergency department having some difficulties in passing stool. Is that right? So the patient will state for you this statement. It is true. So show some empathy here that you are sorry for that. Next step will be consent. So what is the purpose of your presence in this room? So I'm here to take a brief uh, conversation regarding your uh, presentation, if you allow me, or if you are happy for me to proceed. So it is verbal consent. The other step or the next step will be uh, the chaperone. Ask if the patient have any wishes for anyone to attend uh, your conversation or his relative. If no, you can ask one of your uh, nurse to stay with you as a chaperone. Uh, the next one or the next step will be check the level of comfort and uh, prescribe analgesia if the patient having any pain. Now we're going to start, we're going to address the station itself. As we mentioned before in all history stations, uh, you have to address the main complaint or the main concern for which the patient came to the emergency department. Here, the patient came with uh, constipation, difficulty in passing a stool. So our first object in this station, we have to address the elements of constipation itself. We have to ask more, several details regarding the constipation. So first uh, question to be asked, when this difficulty in passing a stool started? So here the patient will state for you a specific duration of the symptoms itself for three days, for one week, for five days. After that, the next question immediately will be, is it absolute or partial? Absolute, that, that means the patient cannot pass any stool. Partial, the patient is passing some uh, small amount with difficulties. 
After that, the following question will be, is the patient uh, passing gases or also there is difficulties or absolute difficulties in passing gases? Right. Uh, the, the next question will be, is the patient having any experience before uh, with the same condition or this is the first time the patient having the same problem? Right. So like this here, we address the main complaint of the patient, which is constipation itself. Now it is time to go to the next part or the next uh, uh, components of the history station taking, which is sign and symptoms of uh, differential diagnosis. We're asking about some differential diagnosis, but in a way, in sign and symptoms. So first thing to, to, to think about it, it is intestinal obstruction. So we'll ask question related to intestinal obstruction. Ask the patient if she's having any nausea, feeling sick, or throwing out, which is vomiting. If the patient is state for you that he is vomiting or she is vomiting, for how many times or for how many uh, days uh, she is vomiting or when the vomiting is already started? Plus, uh, how frequency per day, how many vomit, how many vomiting time? So, for example, today you vomited two times, three times, how many times today and yesterday as well? Is this vomiting accompanied with any blood? Right. Next question will be, if the patient having any abdominal discomfort, do you have any tummy pain? during these episodes for uh, difficulty in passing a stool. If the patient is having pain, uh, let the patient localize where is the site of the pain and ask the patient if he is having or he is feeling any abdominal fullness. Right. So like this here, we address the main questions related to the intestinal, intestinal obstruction. Right. What is the next cause might be, uh, what is the next uh, uh, medical illness which can lead the patient to have a constipation it might be tumor oh, so we have to ask the patient about uh, any weight loss so if the patient is stated for you that he's or she is having weight loss for how long she experiences this weight loss for example one month or two months and how many kg have been lost and ask the patient if the patient is having any loss of appetite and or if the patient experiencing or he noticed any lumps in his body. So like this, we address the tumor. Plus here, we ask, we should ask one more question, which is a sign and symptoms of GI upset. So clearly you can ask the patient, before this episode of, uh, of difficulty in passing stool, did you experience any abdominal discomfort post meals? And uh, do you have feeling sick or having throwing out? Uh, and sometimes you have uh, difficulty in passing stool followed by episode of uh, watery loose uh, motion from your back passage. So here you will, you will have a clear idea about sign and symptoms of GI upset. What other causes might be uh, induced uh, constipation? That the patient is having a previous surgical history. But this part will keep it at the last because we, we need to follow a systemic approach. When we reach the point that we're asking about the past medical and past surgical history here, we're going to address the surgical components of the patient because uh, the cause might be clear uh, clear point from the surgical uh, scar or adhesions, previous, uh, previous surgical uh, operation. It might be adhesion. Also, don't forget to ask about the lower GI bleed. So prior to... Uh, this episode of difficulty in passing a stool, if the patient experiencing any uh, lower GI bleed or bleed blood in the stool, and ask the color of the stool as well if the patient is having any melina. Other cause might be hernia. Ask the patient if he experienced any swelling in his tummy or abnormal protrusions, particularly when he's uh, standing or the patient is coughing. This is in the tummy as well in the lower part, in the groin area and genitalia. It might be hernia-induced uh, constipation or hernia-induced intestinal obstruction. So like this here, you came to the clues and uh, the patient or the information you already got from the patient will give you a clear idea why the patient is constipated. Right. So what's the next question will be asked here? The next question will be asked that we have to address the past medical history of the patient ask the patient if, if he's having any medical illness, uh, review the medication, if the patient is taking any long-term medication and what type of medication he's on, uh, ask about the surgical, uh, past surgical history, which is uh, crucial and very important here. Uh, it might be the cause. 
uh, plus asked about family history of uh, Crohn's disease or family history of uh, cancers, uh, cancers, abdominal cancers or tumors running in the family. Ask about the allergies. Here also we have to address the social history. If the patient is smoking or the patient is taking any uh, alcohol or uh, illicit drug, but uh, remember to proceed this uh, question with the apology. And this is a routine question. We'll be asking the all emergency attendants here. And uh, then after that, uh, address the ideas and concern and expectation of the patient. And uh, so now it is your time or it is your moment to give the patient what he's having or what she is having, plus your management plan will be in which way. The management plan here, it will be according to the information you came with from the history taking. Uh, so our management plan will be that initially, first of all, I will examine you ent uh, uh, entirely. Uh, then we might uh, conduct uh, some investigations. Uh, some uh, will draw some labs from your uh, some uh, labs from your veins to see the electrolytes such as magnesium, calcium, and sodium. Uh, plus, we might do some image for your tummy. This is it will include two views. Uh, one view line line forward, and the other view will be standing. And then we might proceed into another image, which is called computed tomography, uh, to give us a clue about the causes of the constipation. If you came up with the plan or with the sinus symptoms that the patient gave to you which is suggested for for example for malignancy assuming that the patient told you that he's having weight loss and he's experiencing uh, uh, anorexia and loss of appetite and the patient is also having some sort of GI upsets plus lumps and uh, lumps in his body so you are thinking that the patient is having a tumor and the patient concern as well, when, he, when you ask him about his concern or her concern, he told you that, uh, is there any possibility of malignancy? And you came up with the finding that suggested for malignancy here, how to break this information to the patient himself. So uh, you'll tell the patient from the, thank you for this uh, information you gave me. And from the history, we came up uh, uh, from our conversation. Uh, as you know, our, I want to tell you that we have several causes for, uh, for constipation, which might be a just simple difficulty in passing stool without any underlying cause but because from the from the your age and from the history we came up we need to have another investigations or uh, several investigations which will help us to rule out other serious pathology because of the age wise and because of the symptoms but as i told you from the beginning it might be a just simple uh, difficulty in passing a stool but uh, from the history we got and from the age wise we need to conduct other investigations just to rule out other uh, other causes for for constipation or for difficulty in passing a stool now you you break this uh, this uh, entity or this elements uh, without uh, any difficulties to the patient and the patient will agree regarding your management plan and uh, then give the opportunity for the patient uh, to ask you questions and prior to this uh, you have to explain to the patient if there is any possibility of intestinal obstruction that we uh, think about uh, intestinal obstruction as, as a cause and but prior to this also we have to mention that it might be just simple episodes of difficulty in passing a stool and uh, break the management plan clearly to the patient. So like this, we covered all the elements and all the aspects related to this station. So let's recap it again from the beginning. As, uh, as usual, we are coming inside, we are greeting the examiner, then we are introducing ourselves to the patient and all this uh, introduction of the station. Then we'll start with the open question, but we're going to address the main concern which let the patient come to the emergency department, which in this statement will be constipation. So time onset of the starting symptoms, plus we are going to ask, uh, is it absolute or partial constipation? Is the patient having uh, any difficulties in passing gases as well? Then we are going to ask about the differential diagnosis in way of symptoms to come up with the information, which will give us a clue for our management plan. After that, address the patient uh, past medical history, past surgical history and allergies, medication as well and social history. 
uh, plus we should uh, ask about the ideas concern and expectation then we're going to give the management plan clearly, clearly to the patient and give opportunity for the patient to ask questions and answer all the questions appropriately so in this way we conclude and we cover all the aspects related to this station hopefully uh, you will enjoy the you enjoyed this station and you will find it uh, useful and uh, hopefully uh, we'll see you in the next episode of uh, our podcast and thank you